Hello and welcome to some sort of, well I won't call it a review because it's not really a review. But first off I want to show you where the other one leads. I suspect that if you go this way you get a different ending. Yes, I'm not going to go that. Now I'm in a spectator mode as you can see. I am actually in a copy of the map because I don't, this has not been played by them. So that's it's how I work this time. Uh, I usually do a sort of reviewing in a style that is probably not the real, the good thing. But this is how I do it. I have four uh, different things to look at. I'm an adventure map maker myself. I really like the story. The story needs to be there. It also needs to lead you by the hand. It, you need to really enjoy it. Many of you might actually be very frightened, even intimidated by the fact that when you open a book and you see there's 11 pages, you think, oh, 11 pages, I'll never go through those. Bongo Tess is one of those. He really doesn't like reading books. I, on the other hand, love that. And if it's well written and if it's really uh, uh, driving me on, motivating me to continue, then that is the way to do it. Now, if I'm playing a puzzle map, however, or a, a CTM map or whatever, something else needs to motivate me. No need to discuss that in this one. This one has a story and this story is top notch. Now, my grades are only up to five. But this is a 5 plus. This story is a 5 plus without any discussions. It is so good. Next up is the puzzles or the quests or whatever it is. Now this is really a linear story <laughs> despite looking at this build that doesn't seem a linear at all. But it is a linear story. Different types of stuff you need to do. And it's not that much, but it is interestingly enough to keep you going. There was one thing that I couldn't really make out, and that was this moving the, the building stuff. Uh, this is the only one that I didn't understand. And I'm not totally sure that I will ever do. Perhaps Ron can play this one correctly, but I can't. Let's see if we can find any evidence of redstone moving stuff there is something down here could this really be moving the whole mountain even you never know you really don't know do you now he's really been doing this good um, so this was the only quest that I really didn't understand. And then I had this problem with... Oh yes, oh yes, he's moving everything. Oh dear, oh dear. Somehow he's moving a bit piece out of here, I guess. Well, anyway, there are different types of quests and they fit the story perfectly well. I can't see any way, other way to do in this. We haven't been here, have we? We, <laughs> we just need. Trust me, mate. You do not want to know what I'm doing. Okay. You're fishing, right? You're fishing, right? Okay. Uh, so, I would put the quest at a four because they are very simple, like getting a potato and a fish. But on the other hand, they are all there and they are keeping me interested, sort of. No big deals, you just have to make sure that you push the buttons like the clue system he's working on and you just do that. So it perhaps it's a bit simple, but they are there and they are useful. So a big four for quests and stuff. And when it comes to building, <laughs> there is no other number than a five. I can tell you this. I know with what effort he has put into this one. And I can tell you, CPM, I am so far away from this building stuff when I'm doing my solo map, the journey. I am simplifying as much as I can because 
I just want to sit and build. <laughs> we'll see what I can do. Now you and Bongo are totally dedicated to build stuff. So yeah, this is a fiver at any rate. Because two facts. First of all, the diversity of the buildings. Now look at this. There is not one building that looks alike. They might be somewhat alike, but not totally. He's been using as many materials as he can. Very nice. He stacked them on top of each other. And to be, I'm not totally sure if you're aware of it, but this could actually work. This, this, this living quarters could actually work. So yes, very good build. The crane is good. And the wheel, I mean, man, the wheel itself. Well, I don't talk about it. A fiver and then it's my own experience and now this is subjective of course this is only me has nothing to do with the rest of you this is how I felt while I was playing it and as you probably could hear I was laughing and I was having a good time most of the time and to be totally honest it was a very long time since I had such a good time like that this yes it's a fiver no problem no problem at all and I would even put a five plus on this one. Oh, that means we have two pluses and two pluses means plus one point So we have five plus four five and five plus plus one That should that means you have a 20 out of 20 CPM if I were a reviewer that is Is there anything that I miss in this one? That's always something that me and Ron are debating because we always feel like we are couldn't could have been could have been No, I can't really see what you could add to this To this I mean you even have a double ending at the end I didn't know that and yes, I would probably love to go back and See what that ending was but since that ending was just a smaller Version. I mean it led up to that place. I Don't think I will do that and I would love to see others play and make the problems that I didn't do <coughs> Like the missing book and that uh, moving of a um, house But hopefully everyone else would do it correctly. I hope I Didn't get the mr. Claw. I didn't get to um, any other and that's pretty but overall I'm not missing a bit and I'm so glad that I restarted playing Minecraft again because this is the reason that I loved Minecraft it's the adventure maps it's this storytelling thing that I so long to see over and over again for me this is more yeah this is more like it even if the story isn't the best, even if the build isn't the best, even if the quest isn't the best, my enjoyment of a map is usually high when it comes to adventure maps. CPM 4001, my friend, thank you very much. And I know for a fact that you are so glad that this is over, right? Now you're going to tell me that you're never going to do a map again. <laughs> yeah, right. <clears throat> yes. And there are seven Sundays in a week. Right. Thanks for listening. 20 out of 20. Absolutely. Goodbye.